name is Amrit Sharma. I'm the founder of AirAirAir.org. Air, uh, and a few days ago, I wrote an open letter to President Barack Obama uh, ahead of his town hall, which is happening right here. Uh, so the reason I wrote an open letter to him was because I really believe that clean air needs a global champion. Who are the leaders that have influence over those constituencies that you can connect with? Uh, if called upon, I'll ask President Obama uh, whether he believes that clean air is an inalienable basic human right. Uh, and also, uh, I'd like to ask him what he's doing and what his team is doing on this trip for these two days to make sure President Obama's air is clean uh, so he can protect himself. Uh, and, and I'll ask him whether he's going to wear a face mask uh, when he's in Delhi. I've never heard such a quiet, <laughs> orderly room. So uh, about three years ago when I moved back to New Delhi from Minnesota, where I was for a number of years, I, for the first time in my life, I realized I cannot take clean air for granted anymore. And that was a huge shock, because um, growing up it wasn't a concern, and in the States it was never something that popped up in my head. But when I got here, you could visibly see the smog. And that led me to investigate uh, more and more about what air pollution actually is. And I was shocked at what I found. Nearly 7 million people die globally because of air pollution. Uh, that's, that's a shocker, right? That's twice the number of people who die from HIV, tuberculosis, and malaria, which are the big three around the world that we try to tackle. Uh, so air pollution is twice all of those combined. Uh, so it's a global public health crisis that we need to address um, through more data and more understanding and education and awareness around uh, what, what it is that we are actually grieving.